Do you see all that insulation blowing all over the roof? Joel had it all laid down last night and the wind was so fierce and so awful that it just ripped it right off. He was supposed to get up today and lay the like sheeting over the top and we don't even need to talk about it because that's a eek. And then also, if you're wondering how I'm keeping my house clean with this right outside, like with our dog, with very active kids, um, cattle, <laughs> <laughs> walking through here um it's not going well um the process is not the process is not going very well and listen I'm not gonna hear one if ands or buts about my hair it was either you got a video today I mean there really wasn't an option it was put your hair up and do a video or don't do a video so Let's not talk about it. Joel loves it. I think it's cute, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's it's a little different than my normal, but I used to do this all the time in the other house and I just unpacked my scarf and I was like, that's it. She's the reason I get to make a video today. She's gonna cover my hair. Also, if you were wondering, Lady climbs in this basket after we do school drop off because she comes with us. So we do school drop off, we come home, she goes straight to her basket and this is where she stays until the kids get home. The kids get home, she's all excited, she runs to the door and we take her potty and then she hangs out with us. But you know, from all during the school hours, that's where she's gonna sit. Before I even get started, I need to pick up the kitchen. So I'm gonna put a few things away. Actually, before I start, what I'm going to do is make myself take a protein shake because my hair is falling out from stress and um, protein is gonna help with that. Protein is also gonna help me feel full longer so that I will hopefully be able to regain my self-control of not eating. Dang it! I didn't have water first. Dang it! I want to have a protein shake every morning to help my hair hopefully not fall out as much or hopefully regain some strength when it decides to grow back. Also another reason I just got my hair thrown up. Um, and I really want to take better charge of my health because I have neglected it significantly and I have worked way too hard to just let it go and it's hard because it's the last thing I want to do but it's the most important thing to me obviously not the most important thing but it's very important to me so I'm getting my protein in first thing in the morning and I'm going to try to do this and I'm doing it at the beginning of December because I don't want to wait till January. I feel like garbage right now. I want to make my changes right now. And I don't want to be worse off in January first and make it that much more hard on myself. So a protein shake every morning. That is, that's what we're doing. More water through the day. I can do those two things. I can do those two things. I am not going to change up my entire, <sighs> I could like ball. I'm not going to change up my entire routine. My in I don't have a routine. I am a freaking mess. So I am starting with something simple that I can do. Protein shake every morning, having my water out during the day. Those two things. That's what I'm doing. If you're looking for a discount code on protein, I have it for you. It's in the description. I have been wanting to make these cookies forever. My garbage can smells like garlic because I didn't take it out last night. And although I love the smell of garlic, I don't like it in the, the smell of my garbage can. I'm worried about Joel outside, I really am. I think he's beyond frustrated and irritated. Okay, ginger cookies, ginger snap cookies. What do we have them called? Um, I'm pretty sure I put, yeah! 
Here's what I said in the cookbook. If you roll the dough into balls, it freezes very nicely. It's always nice to be able to pull some ready-made cookie dough out of the freezer and make some fresh hot cookies when unexpected guests come by to visit Bonnie. Thanks, I did not intend to get emotional about it, so I'm not going to. Okay, cream butter, then add brown sugar and cream together. I don't, I like, I don't even know what I just read. <laughs> cream butter, that's all I need to do, okay. Three fourths cup softened butter. I'm gonna double this. So you just mix the butter up like this, and it makes the biggest difference. When you don't cream your butter, you can plan on your cookies not turning out. And we're gonna add our brown sugar. Then you cream that together. I just took a pause because the repair guy was here. And I had to come because I thought the fridge could be a soft close. This like really pulls you in, like it's really hard to close and so it kind of slams. And the little kids have a hard time with that. Anyway, he got here and explained to me that it has to be that way because the doors are so big. Um, and with the panel, the panels are so more, makes the door more heavy. And so if it doesn't pull it shut, there's a really big chance that they will be, that they'll get left open. And when you open the freezer, it's really kind of tough to pull, but they're actually designed that way. So the service call was just basically him to tell me that the fridge is working as it's designed to work. However, when he was here, <laughs> he was the friendliest guy. He's driving off right now. He was the friendliest guy. He was like, I hope you don't mind, but I would love to come in and look at this. And he was looking at the pantry, looking at the um, the ladder. He was looking at the oven. He was looking at the mudroom. And then he saw Lady. <laughs> he was playing with Lady. He, his personality was so joyful that it truly brought joy to me. And I told him, I said, you coming here, I hope you don't feel like it was a pointless service call because, you know, you didn't have to do anything, really. And um, I said, but you really made my day with just your attitude, your personality, so thank you for, you know, coming in my home and making me, like, tell me you don't see a difference in my demeanor now versus earlier. <laughs> it was just, he was cracking me up. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. He was being so funny and he was just being himself and that's what I always say people's personalities are their talents a lot of people will say oh I don't have a talent oh yes you do it's your personality okay um so we creamed the brown sugar and the butter beat in the eggs so it calls for two eggs I am not kidding. I don't think that guy will ever even understand the impact that he made on me today. I was kind of, I was feeling like I wasn't doing a good job with this video because I, you know, was just not in a really good mood and uh, there's always mixed feelings opening our cookbook. And, and so anyway, I just, he really changed my day and I don't think he'll ever know that. So beat in eggs, Water, one tablespoon of water, so two tablespoons of water. Let's go one. And I remember when I was making this recipe, when I was testing it out, I tested the exact amount of water that makes these perfect before I, you know, wrote it into the cookbook. Uh, water and molasses. Oh, molasses. Okay, for it. it's just so delicious. So fourth cup, check that. Oh, it smells so divine. That is so fun. I, these, are, these are my absolute favorite Christmas cookie, even over, even over sugar cookies. And I love making sugar cookies, they're so fun. And I like soft, chewy ginger cookies. Crispy like ginger snaps, they're good. They're definitely good, but I just enjoyed these so much more. Okay. <laughs> when, he saw, when he saw Lady, he turned into a different human. His voice changed, 
he got down on the floor as he was unlatching her thing he was like <laughs> he was like may i let her out i'm like um sure <laughs> which really was fine he was just very comfortable and which made me comfortable he was very comfortable which made me very comfortable and that was very fun this kind of looks clumpy when you beat the rest of that stuff into it and so I like to just make sure it's nice and smooth before I move on because your cookie will be more smooth if you make sure that the batter is smooth as you go. At least on these ones. I know you can overbeat things and release gluten and all that but that's a little more advanced stuff that I just don't really worry about. <laughs> I'm not sure what sifting flour does but I know it's important, so we're going to sift the flour, which I didn't just have the flour available. I was two cups short, so I had to go down to our storage room, open the bucket that's hard to open. Oh, my carpal tunnel loves this. Wow, I actually need two hands. And my other service guy is here. Got a few maintenance things going on. There's always some adjustments that need made when you move into a new house. So we are also going to take a little pause right now because my other guy is here. So I will be right back. Oh, my wrists hurt so bad. <sighs> my carpal tunnel, I only have ever had it when I've been very heavily pregnant. And I think it's my inflammation that's causing it. Okay, well, holy cow. A huh. little bit wasn't sifted, but that's okay. Oh, and I like to sift the, like the seasonings of the recipe too, because why not? Um, oh, that smells so good. I think that my carpal tunnel is bad because, because of the inflammation in my body. And I have been eating foods, this is like excruciating on my hands. I've been eating foods that I know are inflammatory. I've been eating more processed foods. I've been eating more processed foods and that will do it. How pretty the sifted ingredients are. Now here's where I'm questioning myself. I hope I didn't forget to double something. I'm supposed to mix this and I have a feeling it's gonna to be too dry, but we're gonna trust the process. We're gonna trust, oh, it's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. You just trust the process, follow the recipe. I'm absolutely the worst at following a recipe. I just like to do whatever I wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> Except these are literally the perfect ginger cookies, so I'm not gonna mess with the recipe. Not today. I have too many unannounced surprises that are making my cortisol levels just spike. So we're just gonna follow the recipe and get the same result that we always do. And here I thought the dough was gonna be dry. It is, it's actually pretty wet, more wet than it feels like comfortable to touch for a cookie, but it's supposed to be that way. I'm gonna make a batch right now and then I'll put the rest in bags to freeze. And it says, roll dough into small balls in sugar, place on cookie sheet. Do not flatten. You don't wanna flatten them. I really like using one of these because then each cookie is the same every time and I don't have to really touch it. Drop it in some sugar, roll it around, and then lay it right on your um, cookie sheet. I always like to use one of these mats so that your cookie sheet stays clean. And these are the off brand, and I tried it just to see I was gonna return them if I didn't like them better than the like name brand. Go go the off the knockoff and every day of the week use the knockoff. It is just as good, it works just as great, and it is a fraction of the cost. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe.
transferring to a cooling rack. That is our cue. <gasps> they look so pretty. Oh, they smell so good. But yeah, if you were to like guess, I would assume they would not be done. But we're just gonna let those sit and cool for a minute. And then we'll put them on a cooling rack. Well, they're hot. Ha, 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 ha. Are you kidding? No, blazing hot. Take me you can give me just maybe a minute. You can. Thank you. Did you know the camera was on? No. Good <laughs> thing you told me because I was going to say some other things. <laughs> You're an idiot. Don't you touch that. Well, you'll have to bring him out. James is waiting. I'm sorry. I called you an idiot. You're an idiot! <laughs> I'm an idiot! Welcome to our evening. We just finished up with dinner. While... Wait. What was that? Me knocking. Um, oh. That scared me. Um, here's what we like to do in the evenings. I've got the cutest flipping plates. I, I picked out. <laughs> we both picked these out. Last time I was like, ooh, these are cute. Mom was like, yeah, I love you. Picked them out. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll put a link for these in the description for you. Um, keep your cups and we'll put some milk in it. Mm. Keep your milk. cups and we'll put some milk in them. Here's our finished cookie. And we're going to show you what we like to do in the evenings if we've got time. Keep the white in milk. <laughs> we're gonna turn the lights out kitchen is mostly clean this is our favorite thing to do <laughs> when we've got time joel joel does have to edit so we're just gonna watch one show but we're gonna have a little dessert um no we'll leave it on you will you you'll be all right it's okay it's, yeah it's fine you'll be fine um do you not have milk did you drink I'll it? get it. I'll get it for you. Um, and we're going to watch a show. So this is how we're going to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye guys. Bye, guys.